Okay, so, snuggle bug. Yeah, I, I know you can't help but to notice this huge spot on my nose. Uh, neither can I. It's not going to just go away, though, uh, which is why I'm doing this video. Um, although I may pride myself in good looks, and so many of you guys are so flattering, y'all, um, tell me how beautiful I am, how pretty I am, and that it's really encouraging, especially when you're going through the affliction that I am, and seeing as I'm going to be a grandmother once again come Monday, you know, um, age, start catch, age really starts catching up with you. Um, so I do pride myself in good looks, okay, and I have been guilty the past... Uh, 24 to 48 hours of hiding behind um, filters and um, you know my lights because you know I was a little bit embarrassed for y'all to see me like this but there's a reason I do this now because I've sat on it the past couple days and I can allow my more gallons to defeat me or I can embrace and seize this opportunity to be an advocate for more gallons. I am one of many faces of more gallons and this is actually a blessing that this is all that you see because so many faces of more gallons are so much worse. You can Google images of people afflicted with more gallons and what they face. So this is really a blessing. Um, and I realize, you know, it, it's something I must accept. Whether anybody else accepts it or not, it's, it's part of what I must go through. And therefore, I must embrace it, accept it, bless it, and move on. Because I am so much more than just my good looks. And, you know, if anybody else struggles with, you know, my appearance or what Morgellons is doing to me, then that is in fact their own problem or issue because I've already accepted it and came to peace with it and I will continue to do so in order to overcome it. Um, it's very important for me to stay grounded, centered, balanced and happy <laughs> because I have chosen the path of least resistance here because I realize that doctors don't know what they're treating. I, I have nobody to treat me. There are very few out there that are truly researching Morgellons. So, you know, it's up to me to accept this and to come to terms in peace with it because I, st I still don't know what it's overall doing to me. Morgellons is very complex and I, I chose, like I said, the path of least resistance. I choose not to focus on and let it engulf me. Instead, I choose to find the positive in everything, to look for the blessings despite it, and to continue to just stay centered, grounded, focused, happy, positive. So therefore, I don't want anybody's pity. That I'm just be, keeping it real with you guys and being honest. I could have lied, said I suffered you know, bad sunburn, this is peeling, whatever. But instead, I choose to embrace it and to carry on. And so therefore, I don't want your pity. I don't want... <laughs> I don't want, I don't want that. I just want compassion. I want understanding. I want to be treated like everybody else. And I want people to understand that this affliction is real. Because so many of you don't. And there are so many speculations out there as to what Morgellons truly is. And because I've chose the path of least resistance, choosing not to focus on it, knowing that I ultimately have no control over what's occurring to me, and no means of treatment, I, I've accepted this. And so, for me, it's all about carrying on and just trying to be happy despite it. Knowing that I have no control, that I need to let it go. And I could let it keep engulfing me like I have the past day or so, or be, you know, fearful of judgment of others, which I'm not. If anything, I was just a little too embarrassed to show myself like this. But it is what it is. So either you can accept it like I can, because it doesn't change who I am as a person, or you don't. And if you don't, that's on you. Because I, I already have, I have no choice but to. You see, it's just something I must embrace as one of my life's little obstacles that I must overcome. And I do that very much alone. So, um, you know, those that have more gallons, more gallons is very demanding. 
It's very, um, very demanding, very excruciatingly painful. And so many that have more gallons give their entire focus to more gallons because it is so demanding. Whereas in my choosing the path of least resistance is to not give it so much my focus, but rather to accept it, embrace it, bless it, and let it move along the best that it can, hopefully, and for me to overcome it. Because I know I have no control of this. And so here I stand before you, showing you one of many faces and more gallons, with nothing more than a hint of lip gloss and a tad bit of mascara on hiding behind no filter because this is what more gowns is. And for me not to do what I'm doing by sharing this video would simply be hiding from it and accepting defeat from it. And that, that's not me. That's not my character to do so. So either you will accept me despite it. I, I, may, I may still choose to, you know, do light up videos or, you know, um, no videos at all or hide behind the filter still simply because it's more comforting than having to look like this um, but I still wanted to show y'all and put my best face forward and my best smile despite it um, and just show y'all like this this is really what more gallons is about and if you're not a naysayer to more gallons trust me the affliction is very real and it's excruciatingly painful You know, I've overcome a lot in life, and I will continue to overcome. And I'm not going to take this laying down. <laughs> I'm going to slap that smile on my face, and I'm going to move on. And I just hope you move forward with me as I overcome my obstacles, that's all. Um, part of me putting this out there was that to lessen others' questions or... Um, their negativity, their rudeness, was that if I just came forward and said it all, then I wouldn't have people being ugly. So, anyhow, it is what it is. And there's nobody could be, um, gosh, feel sorry enough for me or hurt enough for me for it to go away or to make it better. So there's no point in y'all pitying me. There's no point in y'all, you know, um, feeling sorry for me. That's no means what I want. Because I'm gonna do my best to find the positive and find the blessing in this and continue on. Even though I still don't know what my end game is, I still don't know what it's doing to me overall, but I refuse to give it my full attention. I'm gonna carry on. And I only hope that you carry on with me. Much love as always, guys.